didn't really quite know what to do. Hit him as hard as I possibly could, and I just remember the ball going flying. Then my, my linebacker, Kelby Brown, was right there to scoop it up. They never threatened again after that. Did that play really take the life out of them? <laughs> it might just, but uh, you got to remember that's the U.S. Navy, you know, so they, they protect our country, so I hope that they don't back down from anything, and that's exactly what they did, didn't do, so just kept after them, man. You guys obviously worked really hard. Was it? What would you attribute the good defensive play to the just having seen the option before the off week? I mean, what is your yeah, analysis? Oh, I would say yeah, that was, that's definitely part of it. You know, going back to that tape, you know, we just tore that, that Georgia Tech tape apart. You know, we just saw everything that we didn't do well, everything that we did do well, and then um, we just went out there and capitalized because people were saying we really couldn't defend the speed option, the spread option, or anything. So we. <laughs> We definitely went after, we just made sure we went after them and, and, and kept our foot on their throat. Early on they came at you with the dive, you stopped that, then they started going to the pitch. They had three or four plays in a row where they really hurt you with the pitch. Uh, but then never again, what did you do to, to stop it? Oh, we had a few new defensive calls that we that we you know we pulled out the whiteboards and we started to move our shift our corners around, shift our, our linebackers around, and then um, do a few different things with our defensive end. So and eventually it worked, you know. So Coach Knowles is a mastermind on defense, and he was great at calling that auto. How satisfying is this win? You know, Navy beat Indiana, and you're four and two, first team of the triangle to get to four and two, just two wins away from bowl eligibility. It's awesome. It's a great feeling right now, you know. Just to God be the glory, first of all, you know, he's definitely allowing us to shine. But um, yeah. Four and two, man. We got two two wins away from getting the postseason play. We don't just want two more wins; we want them all. But we, that's what we need, you know, to get post postseason play. So we're, we're grateful and we're moving on from now. Kenny, every week we talk about this unfortunate turnover, two for two, huge turnover. Can talk about that. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing that we, we, we said we had to do, hit turnovers. Coach Cut, even coming down from the head boss, man, hit turnovers. So we took that to heart, and that's what we went ahead and did. And you see the outcome. You know, it helps everybody. It helps the defense. It helps the offense. So we need to keep doing that from this, uh, this point forward. It seemed like the defensive line had a whole lot more penetration on you know, every snap today. But there's a tribute to, you know, seeing the option before and the game plan going in. Definitely, and just converting faster. You know, we, we, see, we see the linemen stop and stand on the line. You you know, and just pause, you know, and just let go. You know, just trigger, pull your trigger and go, and then good things will happen. Yeah. It seemed like they would try to draw you guys all sides a little bit for the, <laughs> the yeah, yeah. yeah, they did, they did. But, um, I mean, we, we just discipline. That's what Coach Cook is all about, discipline, conditioning. Sat in there, we turned our ears off, we just watched the ball. What a sack fumble before the end of the first half. I'm sure you've talked about it already, but, but you know, what was going through your head? Did you see the play as it was happening? Were you able to anticipate what was about to go Definitely. down? And just, yeah. Definitely. That just comes from, from film, film study. Right. You know, hours of film study, just listening to my coaches, knowing the right call to make, and then just going out there and being a playmaker, and just doing what I do. You know, so saw everything develop. and saw the quarterback keep the ball, and I just knew I had to get up the field and make the play. You guys seem like you're able to get a lot of push this, this week. Would you attribute that to the, to the week off, the preparation, or? More of a you know effort and a intensity level kind of thing. I think it's a combination of all of that. You know, getting the bye week, getting our legs back under us, that was awesome. And also just going back out there, hitting the ground running in practice, and and just getting back there and making a decision to, to get penetration and get to the quarterback. The scout team for option. Who runs that? How do you guys practice that? What, you know. Who, who, you know who, yeah, we got a few guys. Uh, Quay Chambers, uh, okay. you know, one of the, the young quarterbacks that Coach Cut recruited. He he's he's really fast. Right. So he he was emulating you know number 19 Reynolds back there and we're trying to catch him all you know running around scatting around practice you know so he definitely gave us great looks I mean the scout team O-line they're awesome you know they, they they go in there and they study Navy and they try to emulate the guy that they've been assigned to so they I mean the practice is, is awesome because they those guys really take it seriously and they know that they, they get this good look so we can come out here and perform. Did you say that helped you guys a lot today? Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so definitely. Right on.